I am so excited to have a fairy tale story time with you tonight. I was continuing with our Halloween stories. I do love spooky season. What's everybody going to be for Halloween? I think I'm going to dress up as Odile in her black and red dress. What are you guys going to dress up as? Maybe there will be a few witches like our book tonight. Once upon a time, the witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. That sounds so lovely. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. No one likes when they lose their hat. the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held onto her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Too many people on it, but there's never such thing as too many friends. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and you witch look like a good supper to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near and started to drool. He said, I won't let you go. Do you think I'm a fool? But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The 
dragon drew back and he started to shake up. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch as they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. It's so wonderful to have room for all of your friends. I don't know what I would do without my frog and turtle and puffin and prince friends. Today, I thought we could make a Halloween decoration and make our own witch's broom. Would that be fun? just need one big piece of paper. Mine is yellow cardstock, but you can use any kind of paper you want. And you'll need scissors and a piece of yarn or ribbon and some tape. I have double-sided tape, but any tape works. It's really easy. We start really small and we're going to roll it up just like a scroll, as tight as it will go. Because mine's cardstock, I have to bend it a little bit first. It probably helps with all paper to bend it a little bit first to help it twirl. Whenever I think of a scroll, I always think they should say beware. What do you think we'd be aware of for our witch? <laughs> and I would love to see all of your brooms. I'd love to see pictures when you're all done with your Halloween craft. Roll it as tight as it can go. There we go. And then we're going to take the edge down. This is an easy, fun, quick craft. You can make them in all different colors and put them on your mantle. Or maybe you have a doll or a stuffed frog that would love a broomstick to play on for Halloween. Because mine's double-sided tape, I have to put it on the inside. You could put some tape on the outside if you'd like. Or on the inside. Or you could fold it into pieces. However, you can make that edge stay down. Mine's being a little bit finicky. I think I didn't quite bend it enough. I was just too excited to make it with you. There we go. There's our edge all taped down. Now see how we have all of these swirls? We're going to take our scissors. You might need your, your grown-up's help for this part. You're going to take it right in the center and cut all the way up about two inches or a little longer than the length of your whole thumb. We're going to do that all the way around, making about quarter inch strips, about this wide. So about the size of the width of your pinky. all the way around our teeth. more broom-like, broom doesn't it? Now we can't have a broom without some decoration. 
back when we take our yarn, and I'm going to put a little bow on mine. But maybe you could draw some racing stripes on yours, maybe some flames, or maybe a pink bow or some rhinestones. However you would like to decorate your witches. room. Doesn't it stand up nice? I hope you find room for all of your Halloween friends on your witch's broom. And I hope you're getting ready for all of the fun on Saturday. I do love Halloween. Have a very happy week and I love you all. Mwah.